Kathleen. We are here for the fourth edition of Judge a Book by its cover, and we are going to be finishing What Do You Do With an Idea? And surprise, surprise, I am in yet another different setting. So if you remember, the character had almost listened to the people who were kind of mocking his idea. But then I realised, what do they know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little bit crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because, it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realised what you do with an idea. You change the world. The end. She's already talking. I'm starting now, ready, wait. <laughs> If I'd started then, that's ruined. Okay. Hi, butter beans. Welcome. You probably heard them. They're my helpers, but they've been rummaging <laughs> around. You've got to press stop again. <laughs> but then I realised, what do they really know? This.